Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing the SPY. Boy, was this a little bit unexpected today. Not unexpected in the longer term. I predicted this would happen, but I really read the gap down today as neutral. I didn't read it as bearish, but I, I never thought we'd be this bullish in, the, in a gap down today. I said, neutral. We are so strong today. Tough day for shorts if you try to short anything today. A great day for longs. Let's take a look at it. We're going to go over 201 right here. We're going to go over. We're going to rally up to 202 today. This is, this really was the turnaround day for the market. Last week, a week ago tomorrow, I said it. I knew it. When I saw it in the morning, I, I knew it. And for those of you that did the option call I gave like two weeks ago, whatever, you're up. I mean, this here, look, 202. We're going to make it. We're going to make a new high for the year. Now, the high for the year was 201.90. That wasn't like something amazing because we fell all at the beginning of January and into February, but we are not going anywhere down. And a lot of people thought with the gap down today, I'm sure that we'd fall into support or that we'd fall in because people still saw this as resistance, but it's resistance that is a temporary resistance that the market's going to get over. And we're going to get over it today. We're going to get over it today. And I didn't think we'd get over it today, but I thought we'd get over it soon. Look at that. In fact, where do we rally up to on Friday? 201.35. So anyways, this is beautiful, beautiful market. Expect the follow through to last, expect it to continue. I mean, expect follow through. People are like, wait a minute, how can we go long here after we've been up for one, two, three, four, five days? Yep, and guess what? We're not done, we're not done yet. I don't know where we close today. I'd have to see that to see where we gap tomorrow. This is what I'm talking about, people. This area here, which we're not over yet. This is gonna be short covering the short squeeze coming in. I talked about this last week too in the webinar. It is real people. It's like I'm seeing it in the chart. And it's, this is unbelievable today. I can't even believe that we did this today. Look at this. What a great call I made to this market. What a great call that I made to see this was a turnaround day. Because <laughs> this was a spectacular gap up, people. I just knew that this was a turnaround day because of the way that the gap set itself. And just a great call to call the market to hold in here because we, we really could have fallen off the planet. We could have. I mean, I kept every day, every day in the month of January and February, I looked up and, and I was rating right the market thinking, are we gonna, are, you know, are we gonna fall off a planet? But we didn't, we didn't, we never broke. We never broke, it was just gorgeous. This is a great call. Anyways, we will make a brand new all-time year high in this year in the SPY, I, I predicted that and we will do it. Expect the rally to continue, we're up for five days. I, I don't know if we have a rest day in here or I don't know where we rally and close tonight or gap tomorrow, but this looks amazing. So shorts are going to get stopped out. Buying's coming in anyways. More buying will come in. More buying will be triggered. The market looks more like a long now than it has for the first time all year, although I've said it is still bullish the whole year. But it really looks like a buy point in here. So expect the fall through to continue. Something can rally for five days and keep going. There's no rule that says blah, 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 okay? You have to get up in the morning and read the gap. And you read the gap and you rate the gap. And, and that's what's so crazy about today. I'm telling you right now, this is a gap down that I wouldn't have shorted. But obviously, I'm not going to buy a gap down. But I thought neutral today. And we are, this is strong. This is almost a $2 body bar here. Amazing. So everyone's options, if they did it, should be moving them. The call that I made for the list, people on my list. You can sign up for the option, subscription, and the class if you want to. Email me at melissathestockswitch.com. I'm in my spy options. We'll see where they go when they start getting their butts moving. Should be soon. Sooner rather than later. Amazing call I made in this market here for the turnaround day, the call back from the drop off to hold in here. Everything. Fantastic. And all of this I figured out because of gaps. I would never have been able to predict this if I didn't know how to read gaps. Never, 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 never. And one of the reasons that many people didn't understand this move in here and this situation here and then last week or even this today is because of the fact that people really don't read charts based on gap analysis, I do. And even people that trade gaps don't look at the overall chart analysis to, to determine what the trend is gonna be in the gap the way that I do. And obviously, I'm the only person out there that has a 26 point rating system to determine what a gap's gonna do. It took me three years to figure it out. I'm telling you it was 100% worth it because this, this, is, this is the kind of stuff, this is dreams are made of this stuff. I cannot wait to see how the September options that I have in the SPY play out. It's really exciting, people. This is exciting is what it is to see it happening, and it's happening early. It's March 7th, so good luck, everyone. Good luck, those of you that are in it. If you want to sign up for the next GAP class, it's March 20th and 21st, or the options, email me. Email me at melissathestockswish.com. Great call I made here at the market, and go run, run.
Have a good day, everyone.